it. You have people doing it with an intention that's different than before. Mm -hmm. So like the intention of healing, the intention of fulfilling whatever intention that they have, which is often a healing intention of seeing, of transforming. Um, I like to, use, I like to use the word transmogrifying uh, of really changing something in a powerful sort of radical way. And that, so less experiential, like, I almost think of sort of the old way that people talked about psychedelics um, was sort of like porn. I mean, like, let's have this experience, you know, and it, this feels much more like a, like, a, like, wow, there's, there's a, it, there, it, there's a way to use this for something beyond self-medication, beyond just experience chasing that's profoundly um, enmeshed in the human consciousness that we, and we don't understand it. Mm -hmm. And people that just because we don't understand it, and maybe because we don't understand it, you know, doesn't mean that people, um, however you want to take that sentence, doesn't mean that people shouldn't use it and experiment with it if it's relatively safe for them and they feel it is. And so I guess I'm just excited because we're in a state of not knowing and uncertainty around where this is going to go, around how it influences the brain and and the path forward of human consciousness and development and um and i've been thinking lately how much our cognitive and mood uh sort of infrastructure of this country we don't think of as infrastructure we don't think of your cognitive ability or your mood your capacity to to grow and change and develop mentally or spiritually we don't think of that as infrastructure that's mm. infrastructure that's like it's mm. the effect the infrastructure <laughs> right like yes if you right if you can yes. hack the brain yes right that's a hack that can go in good ways and bad ways and we better understand both of those and um it's really important so to me uh this ought to be really high priority 